Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Femininja Project, and thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I have a fantastic guest with me today. You are going to absolutely love her, love her story, and the incredible information that she has to share with us regarding our health and our, our fitness, basically. Her name is Darlene Green. She is a GHKCU and stem cell activation technology consultant who helps you activate your stem cells, repair DNA, reverse aging, improve the health and function of your brain and cardiovascular system, and get rid of pain. She is also a retired U.S. Navy commander who helped establish the Returning Warrior Weekend Workshop, which helps warriors and their families reintegrate successfully. Darlene, thank you so much for being here and welcome to the show. Thank you, Cheryl. It's an honor to be with you today. Now, I did give your background, but there's a, so much more to you than what I just said. And first of all, I do want to thank you for your service and uh, your entire family is in service. So I really wanted to take the time to acknowledge that and thank you from the bottom of my heart and for all of our listeners too. Thank you, Cheryl. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I guess I wouldn't have four kids in the service if they hadn't, <laughs> hadn't heard me talk about uh, how much I enjoyed it. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you learned a lot uh, from being in the service, and especially you told me before we started recording a really funny story about uh, being the first female commander, and uh, yeah, so that was really amazing. Definitely the warrior spirit um, is in you, and uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you. It was it was a funny story. I've had, I had three commanding officer tours in my Navy experience, my uh, the one that we talked about was in Southeast Texas, and that was fun because the, the it was new. I was the first woman commanding officer of the base, and they were not used to having a woman in charge. Um, they, I had issues like uh, you know one of my reservists walking up and kissing me on the mouth in the middle of the in the middle of the building, and I'm like, no, 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 you can't do that. And um, and so I was trying to figure out a way to garner their respect, and I gave on uh, I gave them a. A physical fitness challenge and said, I will challenge all of you to every push up and sit up and for the physical fitness tests and anybody who beats me, I'll, I'll honor with your favorite soda. And in the end, uh, ended up have, I think I did 137 push ups and 126 sit ups and, and, and I delivered one soda to one person. And it was a woman who actually had a uh, faster run time than my swim time. So I garnered a lot of respect from that. And I, I really uh, think that that kind of helped to help at least um, have them understand women could do interesting things and weren't maybe the stereotype that they had expected. My my last job in the Navy, my last commanding officer job was over 1,200 people. And uh, uh, that was amazing. And that was where we were getting people prepared to go over to Afghanistan and they were mobilizing as individuals and, and they were coming back not well. And that's why I built the program, the Returning Warrior Weekend program with a team of people and we we were trying to come up with a way to help them transition back in a healthy, emotionally, physically, all of it, spiritually way. And I'm very proud to say that that program is still in existence today, uh, this many years, 17 years later. So that was a, a special thing. And when you talk about the things that I learned in the military, really, uh, so much of that is taking care of people. So much mm -hmm. of that is leadership. So that's very much in my DNA. And if, whether it was there before I got in the military, I don't know, because I entered the military right out of college. But wow. um, it was like I went to the University of Virginia on a Navy ROTC scholarship. And the day I graduated was the day I became an ensign in the Navy. So that was 20 years. And then um, but what was funny is when I got out of the military and I'm seeing somebody to help me craft my resume and they're like, which industry are you going to go work for? And I mm -hmm. said, well. I don't know. I've had a medical department that worked for me, an, um, a dental department. I had CBs that I love, like your dad. Mm -hmm. I had um, construction. I had engineering. I had, you know, warehouses with that built ships. I've had wow. administrative. I've had training. I had I, IT. What, well, I could be in any of these industries. I've done all of these things. And they're like, no, no, you have to pick one industry. And I'd say, 
why do I have to pick one industry? And anyway, I ended up landing in technology. But then as, if you looked at my resume, I went from network technology uh, initially, then I popped over and was a vice president at McAfee, which was software technology. Then I became a dean of a girls academy uh, for a boarding school, totally a leadership school. So, you know, right right uh, wonderful opportunity there then popped into consulting then popped into network technology and now in health technology so mm -hmm. um it's really it's really been a very very background but i really think that one of the things that the navy taught me was you know when you're changing jobs every year or every other year initially i would say the first decade you're like oh my gosh can i do this i don't know if i can do this like i don't know these words i don't know what those people are doing i don't know how to begin and then after time you kind of think I got this. Like I keep figuring it out. I you know, throw it at me, bring it on. I can do this. It just takes work. We can do work. So yeah, it was uh, it was a great experience. Yeah, I was really impressed when I was digging through your profile. I like to do a deep dive, just, you know, I'm a ninja, so I like to do that. I stalk people. I stalk my guests. It's actually a whole <laughs> lot of fun. But when I saw your uh, Facebook page and I saw that, uh, you know, the girls school that you were I mean, that's just amazing. And that you worked for McAfee. I was like, oh my goodness, this woman really knows her technology. And from somebody who's really technologically challenged, I, you know, I, I bow down to you. That's just amazing. Um, and what else? There was something else. Oh, it'll probably pop into my head later, but it's just like, you have done so much in your career and covered so many different platforms. How did you end up in the stem cell technology. But before we get there, uh, the one question I would like to know is what made you decide to join the Navy in the first place? Well, my dad was uh, in the Air Force for 30 years and mm -hmm. uh, he was a, a fighter pilot. And my dad used to say, I just can't believe they pay me to do this. And I mean, I thought, wow, what kind of job is so great that, you know, people say, I can't believe they pay me to do this. And so mm -hmm. I initially, and he brought home a picture of the first seven women fighter pilots in the Air Force. And there they were in their flight suits. And I thought, those are the coolest women on the planet. I want to be one of the coolest women on the planet. And so initially, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. And uh, my eyes went bad in college. And also I fell in love with the surface warfare officer at the time. And at that point in time, it was not as compatible. And so I ended up sort of leaving my um, desires to be in aviation by the wayside and ended up doing shore-based management, which, which I really did love um, mm -hmm. immensely. But yes, that's where it began. Wow, wow. And here you are now. And I really wanted to highlight the fact too, when you were talking about the weekend, um, what was it? The warrior uh, program that you started returning warrior weekend workshop that, yeah, you started it. And like you said, it has been 17 years and it's still going strong. So thank you for doing that because I think that our veterans don't get the kind of help and attention that they need and they deserve and that they have earned uh, when they come back and they've seen some terrible things in combat and to try and reestablish yourself and reintegrate. I can't imagine how difficult that must be. You know, Cheryl, it was, it was heartbreaking. And I will say this, I don't, it was because I sat with them when they were leaving and I sat with them when they came back. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was because I had come from a position of, I had endured pain. I had had PTSD. I had had trauma. I had had anxiety, stress, depression, all of the things. And I could see in them that there was an issue, that there was a problem that, you know, our, our military aren't quick to say, I have an issue. So, mm -hmm. but you could, you could feel it. I could read it and uh, their spouses weren't okay. The, 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 the marital unit was not okay. Uh, so what I found though, was there were people who had gone a year before and nobody ever said, thank you. No one ever said, thank you. Let me drop everything I'm doing and leave for a year away from my family and then come back. And what was happening also was when they would come back there, they would immediately say, I got to go back. And the spouse mm -hmm. that just held down the fort for a year is like, what? Are you kidding me? Are you crazy? I have been waiting here for a year, missing you and doing all of this by myself. And so when we pulled them all together, because they'd gone as individuals, not as units, and they came back as individuals, they didn't even have anybody to talk to, to compare experiences with, the spouses weren't talking. So they were very alone and they didn't understand that what they were experiencing was more normal than they knew. 
And when we pulled them all together, spouses and the members, and they sat around small group discussions and we had got keynote speakers and then we had breakout sessions. And one of the breakout sessions was why I want to go back. And every one of them said, I want to go back. And now the spouses are looking around saying, oh, this isn't about me and my marriage. This is something I don't understand. And then we got, we unraveled that and got them the support. And we had everything from chaplains and counselors and people doing EMDR, eye movement desensitization, reprocessing for the people with PTSD on site. And, but I understood about EMDR because I had had EMDR. I understood about PTSD because I had PTSD. I, you know, I was able to pull together in all of these stress management techniques and help them um, because of my background and it wouldn't have been there if I hadn't had that background. So I, it was the most intrinsically rewarding thing I have ever done. I had these Navy salty chiefs that had been in the Navy, you know, forever come up to me with tears in their eyes afterwards and say, you saved my marriage and others that wrote in that said, you saved my life. So oh. talk about, um, rewarding, uh, there, there was, it was, it was, it was tough to leave it, but it was also time and, um, nothing I've done s- except, except what I'm doing right now has ever compared. And when you are helping people with their health and you can make a difference so quickly and immediately, that is incredibly intrinsically rewarding. So I, a few, few weeks ago, I interviewed somebody, I can't remember the name of the episode, but his name is Justin Crane. And you know, he was in the service. He absolutely loved it. He was special ops and you know, he just thrived. It was his passion. It was his purpose. And, you know, the camaraderie, uh, everything he, he would volunteer for operations that, you know, other people didn't want. He was all in. And then he was, uh, discharged, medically discharged because, you know, he developed, um, I can't remember right now. I think it was um, tinnitus and vertigo and that type of thing. So when he was discharged, he was just, he, he got, he was lost Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. he struggled so mightily Mm -hmm. to, you know, re-enter society and to integrate. It was, it's a long story, but, um, you know, he eventually did, he saw the light, he was able to find his purpose again, but, you know, I just feel that we don't do enough for Mm -hmm. our veterans. So I wanted to take that time just to acknowledge what you've done and to thank you again. Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate that. Okay. And then, okay, this is way tangential, but I just, I've been, it's been on my mind. So I just have to ask you this. When that, um, when when that guy kissed you in the hallway or whatever, okay. (laughs) Do you think that he was testing you? Do you think that he was just either, you know, trying to shock you, uh, trying to see what your reaction would be, trying to intimidate you? Or do you think he was just being playful and stupid? I I think he was clueless. I, I he was he was a judge, so he was an educated person. Um, I think he kissed women. That's what he did to say hello. He just kissed women on the mouth. And when I we're both in uniform, we're in the middle of the building, in the middle of a workday. And I oh said, God. "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm saying hello." I'm like, "You cannot kiss me. Why not?" I'm just saying. I'm like. Let me introduce you to the handshake. He said, but I'm really happy to see you. And I said, let me introduce you to the double handshake. <laughs> you can't, you can't walk around. And I go, not only can you not kiss me, you can't kiss any of the other women at this command. You got, you just can't go kiss your friends, but not your workmates. Like anyway, I, it wasn't the only time it happened. I had an admiral do that when I was in the Pentagon. Uh, I had another admiral do that when I was at the officers club. They were just older men that were a little clueless around how to be appropriate with women in the workforce, I think. And so, yeah, I just, there was a lot I had to deal with. Yeah, well, you schooled <laughs> them I'm, pretty I'm very well. very good at it. <laughs> Jeez, well, I just had to ask that because like I said, I was wondering, was it, you know, what was his motive behind that? But uh, yeah, he was clueless. That's really amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's move on to what you are doing now because uh, again, you don't do anything just, part way. When you're (laughs) in something, you are all in and you are in this technology that is so exciting Mm -hmm. and relatively new and its healing potentials are just off the chart. And this is just right at the very beginning. So tell us about the stem cell technology. Okay. So about three years ago, uh, I noticed my husband was experiencing some significant memory issues. Mm -hmm. And over time, 
there was a fairly significant neurological decline. We had him tested and discovered that he had early Alzheimer's. So we began diving into the research. I dive in like you dive in, Cheryl, and what is available. And, and actually nothing is available. Even the things that they have as medicines to treat symptoms can actually progress the Alzheimer's faster. Um, the most recent drugs that everybody's touting is so phenomenal, cause brain bleeds in 50% of people with my husband's APOE44 type. That's not an option. So everything I was looking at ended up coming around to stem cells. So well, you can't get them here. Uh, so we went out of country four times in a year and we got stem cell in IV and injections for him as well as for me. I actually have three auto have, I'm not going to say I have, I'm going to say I, I was diagnosed with once upon a time, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, POTS, uh, thyroid issues, POTS is postural orthostatic tachycardia where you, you pass out when you stand up or even just sometimes get overheated. Um, it's really problematic. I couldn't even drive one time for two weeks while they tried to figure yes. out what was, what was going on. But um, it, you know, those autoimmune issues, I was just like, just, I just want to not pass out. That would be really, if I could just have that happen, I would be really grateful. So we were getting these and they were $10,000 a piece per person four times in a year. So I think that year we spent $140,000 in medical and I just was praying I, I really, this isn't working. I need something that will really move the needle. And uh, we had done, there's a, for anybody who's got Alzheimer's and hasn't heard of Dr. Bredesen, I, I strongly recommend following Dr. Bredesen's protocol. And so we did that, which was really changing the diet. Like right away, we took out alcohol and soda and white flour and sugar and you know, genetically modified foods and any kind of fat that wasn't the avocado and extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil, right? We, we took out all of these things. We did grass-fed, grass-finished proteins. We, we really cleaned everything up and the decline continued. We worked on the sleep protocol. We put red lights in and the decline continued. We couldn't get his deep sleep up. Um, nothing was making it. We did exercise and weight training and uh, with a trainer three times a week and nothing was making a difference. He was at a point in time where he was a shell of his former self. He was napping three and a half hours a day. I mean, that's like all that, that's the kind of nap where you go and check on them. Like, are you alive? Are you breathing? Because that's, that's a, a huge part of the day and you worry. And then he was falling asleep at, at seven o'clock at night, even though we were going to bed at eight 30. Um, he was disengaging, um, entirely from conversations. Just, it was just too hard. And what was really sad is that he just lost his personality. He was no longer even trying to be funny and his, you know, you were interviewing, I, I can't remember who it was, but one of the gals who talked about laughing every single day with her husband, that's my husband. Like he makes me laugh every day, but he just sort of stopped trying. And before he had been trying and he wouldn't always land it. Like it would not maybe not have the right word or it wouldn't just, you know, but he was trying and now he wasn't even engaging or trying. So so we were at a point where I was, I, I really felt like I'd lost him and I was, I was depressed. I, I, I fell down the staircase, the last three, missed the last three steps, hit the floor, broke my foot, sprained my ankle, um, couldn't do the things that were helping me cope as a care provider, which included, you know, walking around the neighborhood and getting my morning sunshine, playing pickleball and having a social outing, just um, being sociable and getting out and about. And all of a sudden, I was down hard for, for five months before they actually did surgery. And in that oh, time, wow. in that time frame, I actually asked, like, I would ask for a, a cup of water, you know, and Jim would just look at me like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to bring you a cup. Of, what, what are you asking me? And, and that's where we were. Like, even that was hard. And so it kind of finally sank in for me. Holy cow, this is really bad. I don't think I'd even asked him to get me a cup of water. I think when you're a care provider, you're just doing, you don't really ever ask somebody to do something for you because you just, why would you? And, and so I realized how very bad it was. Mm -hmm. So I fell into a pretty steep depression where I wanted to cry every day and I was hurting and I was just like, this is horrible. And this friend of mine said, I know you've been out of country for stem cells we have been using something that's changed our, our lives and our, my, my daughters, my, myself, my cousin with leukemia, um, just all, all of us. And, and you've got to try this. 
And I was like, I'm in, I'm in. There's there's nothing really that's an alternative. Uh, and when you talk about activating your own stem cells, that's amazing. Now I have to be careful here because the FDA has recently come out and said that your, your stem cells, including the ones in your own body are a drug. So I'm going to say that these patches elevate and activate GHKCU, uh, copper peptide. And in doing that, copper peptide actually activates your stem cells um, because that's been proven for 50 years. And you can Google copper peptide in PubMed and find all the studies on that. But so we started these patches. And I mean, day one, week one was a, a remarkable change. He did not nap. He did not nap at all that whole week. He doesn't nap anymore. He didn't nap. Uh, that three and a half hours was gone. He wasn't falling. He's not falling asleep at seven o'clock at night. Didn't fall asleep. And it was like a dam broke and he was conversational and had all this rushing out. He just wanted to say, it was like lifted the gates and boom, he wants to talk and he is talking and he's on time with it and he's with it. And he's, um, and what warmed my heart was he was funny again. He was funny again. He was flirty again. He was back to Jim being Jim. Mm -hmm. And then over time we saw, other things happening, like his sleep improved dramatically in the second week where we had previously recorded like 15 minutes deep sleep. We got him to an hour and 25 minutes of deep sleep. Um, and then he regained the ability to whistle and drum to the beat and his blood pressure dropped 37 points to get to a normal range. Um, and then um, a, a marble sized nodule that he'd had 20 years, as long as I'd known him, just disappeared. And then at five months, he regained his sense of smell, which he lost 15 mm -hmm. years ago. 15 years ago, and that's an early warning indicator for Alzheimer's. So if it's not associated with COVID or something else, get yourself checked out, get a neuroquant. If you have an issue where you've lost your sense of smell, um, and now I know COVID does that for a lot of people, but this is, un, uh, what was this was, you know, 15 years ago, unrelated. And then the other thing that happened for him, which has been really fun is he had this huge bald spot since the day I met him and uh, it's closed up closed up, closed up, and it's got brown, chestnut brown hair growing. It's much darker hair. Um, that's been really fun. And then that's that's him, but then there's me. Like I was broken and depressed and in pain. And right away, there's a, there's a patch called Ice Wave. So most of what we'll talk about is X39, which is the stem cell activation patch as a result of activating GHKCU. Um, but there's a, there's a patch called Ice Wave that is unbelievable. It removes pain from a 10 to a one in 15 seconds. And I'm a person that I've done the Vicodin, the Percocet, the, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you name it. They just don't work for me. They don't work on pain. And I, I, and when I put that ice wave on and it took care of my pain, I was flabbergasted. And I, I, I thought initially, well, this just must be the day, you know, in the five month time frame that my pain finally goes away. Mm -hmm. But then you take it off after you wear 12 hours and you take it off after 12 hours. And when I took it off 15 minutes later, my pain, my, my ankle was just throbbing all over again. So I knew that, okay, this is really the ice wave. And, and then thing, other things started happening. I no longer had to take this medicine, glutocortisone, that actually raises your blood pressure to keep you from passing out. I don't have to take that anymore. I'm not passing out and I don't have to take that. I don't have regular headaches anymore. Um, I lost, you know, we've talked about how when we get older, it's hard to lose weight. Um, some of, I was, I have a very clean diet and I'm exercising and doing all the right things, but I was not losing weight. And I don't, I don't know. I think there's something about how it's balancing my hormones. And there are, there is actually um, the X39 and X49 patches are known to improve lean body mass mm -hmm. and reduce mm -hmm. body fat. And that happened for me effortlessly. Uh, I also had a very severe case of rosacea that was just for years and years, dermatologists could not resolve. And every time they gave me anything, it burned like fire. And over it took three months. Not, none of this happened overnight for me, but it did, mm -hmm. it did, it did clear up. And my skin became super, super soft. Where before mm -hmm. I was, I would travel with the tub of Cetaphil cream, not the lotion, the cream, the tub of it. And I would be lathering every single night because I was so dry like a lizard. And all of a sudden, my skin is so soft, my face is so soft, my pores have gotten smaller, my brown age spot is lightened up. Um, and I, I I don't have the body aches anymore. And I don't have the, the other thing I'm not doing is I'm not stress eating anymore. So some of that's just the calming of my anxiety and the, the relief, the uplift of the depression, the depression just lifted. It just went away after just, I don't even know when, like a couple of weeks, maybe I just was all of a sudden joyful and able to live out of a place of gratitude. 
Um, but, and I think, I think part of that is just that helped me to not be standing in front of the refrigerator, just wanting to eat for comfort right. or stress relief. Right. So all of those things were just phenomenal, but, but not just for me, like my sister had microscopic colitis for six years, cleared up in three weeks. My cousin with fibromyalgia, her pain went away and in a week and she no longer needed the 800 milligrams of Motrin. Um, another relative that was suicidally depressed, um, it lifted, um, it was ready for her to be life to be over and her, her depression lifted. So I am very passionate about these patches because there are so many people in pain or depressed who mm -hmm. need help or, mm -hmm. or, or diseased, or you and I've talked about that. They're, they're given a diagnosis. You have this, mm -hmm. or you have that. And here's your, you know, your life sentence, right? Mm -hmm. And no, it's not your life sentence because stem cells, for those of you who don't know, stem cells are what made you and they can, you can become, they can become anything in the body. They can become muscle. They can become ligament. They can become mm -hmm fat tissue, they can become whatever your body actually needs. And what, what I love about stem cells is they know where to go and what to do. But what I didn't know about them is that when you're 80, I'm sorry, when you're 30, they are, they are half dormant. And when you're 60, they're almost entirely dormant. You, you have them, they're in your body floating around, but they're not doing anything for you. That's why we are aging and we're, we're healing so much more slowly because we just don't have those stem cells in there to go around and fix things. So by pulling in, by activating GHKCU, um, we do all of these amazing things for the brain. And there are over 90 clinical studies on these, on these patches. And there are even more for uh, the GHKCU. So if you Googled in PubMed and you looked at the benefits, in fact, there's, there are books, entire books written around GHKCU. So here's, here's how to reverse aging by John Harmon, a comprehensive guide to copper peptides. When you look at what GHKCU, and people can get this through injections of peptide injection, but they've said that injecting it four times in a day doesn't elevate your stem cells as much or your GHKCU as one of these patches, just one patch in one 24 hour time frame. So what does GHKCU do for us? It activates and increases our stem cells. It also produces growth factors, which is really good for healing. It protects the lungs, including restoring normal function and COPD affected cells. Okay. Yeah. Cause I think I saw that somewhere in your, um, it was either Facebook or something. I can't remember, but it was the somebody who was suffering with, it was uh, maybe it was interstitial fibrosis as well as COPD or something else, but it was a pretty serious pulmonary condition. Yes. Yes. And it, and it just restores the cells to their healthier state. Um, all sorts of brain, we could spend hours talking about what it does for the brain and the nerves, but what, one of them is it is altering the expression of your human genes, inducing the strong anti-anxiety, anti-aggression, anti-pain, um, and the anti-cancer benefits, Cheryl. It topped 1309 bioactive compounds, which is what's recommended for the treatment of colon cancer. It mm -hmm. reset programmed cell death of human cancer cells, including mm -hmm. neuroblastoma, leukemia, and breast cancer, but it doesn't affect the healthy cells. It inhibits something called NFKB P65, which is believed to promote cancer. Mm -hmm. It repaired damaged DNA and it reset 84 genes to either growth or cancer inhibition. That's amazing for anti-cancer. So a lot of cancer patients have heard of GHKCU and mm -hmm. have had injections, but they don't know that you can elevate your own in a patch that does things for the skin and the hair. So a lot of people love our product because they look so much younger. You can see on my website, like the, mm -hmm. the transition of people looking younger and younger over time and their, their wrinkles and their thick skin and their, mm -hmm. their, their fine lines are going away and their photo damage is going away and their hair growth is going away. Just like my husband and just like mine, like I have all these unruly little um, sprouts, mm -hmm. but, uh, but the thing is, that's a reflection of what's going on in the inside. That's your increased mm -hmm. collagen, right? That's, and collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. So when you're increasing collagen, it's not just that you're looking younger, it's that your cells are healthier across your body. 
Okay. So I want to go back to when you were saying, you know, people are getting these injections, they can get them like four times a day, blah, blah, blah. And all they need to do is take this one patch. So not only uh, is that patch a lot more convenient, but I'm thinking it's a lot more economical and you're doing something that's transdermal rather than being something that you are injecting into your body. And this goes back to when you and your husband that year that you were flying back and forth and getting the stem cell injections, were they taking your own? No. No, we were using, uh, I, I don't even want to tell you, we were, we were not using our own. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. Got, fair enough. But Some would with, say what we did was morally. And I mean, you question a lot of people have issues morally and I don't want to, I don't want to open up that Pandora's box, but I just forgive me, but I was absolutely desperate to do anything for oh. my husband, but yeah. Well, of course you would be. I mean, you try yeah. anything when you're in that situation yeah. And, yeah. and especially since he went down and, so quickly. And I want to correct that this is a non-transdermal patch. Oh. So it's amazing that you think it would be putting something inside of your skin, but it is not. The way this, actually, I want to say, let me let me jump into that after two more things. I want to okay. say that the other thing GHKCU does is increases wound healing, including things like stomach, intestines, really good for the gut, really good for people with gut issues and bone issues, but the heart. And we'll talk about some studies on the X39 or with the heart, but GHKCU is known to reduce fibrinogen synthesis, which is the top predictor of cardiovascular heart disease and increase myostatin, which inhibits heart failure. So those are just some of the benefits. You know, this guy talks about the immune system. He talks about exercise and how it improves performance. And, and we'll talk more about that later, but the way this is working is absolutely fascinating and, and intuitive after you think about it, when you go outside in the sun, your body makes vitamin D. Mm -hmm. It gets a signal, hey, elevate your vitamin D levels or elevate your melanin levels for your skin, right? We know that. You know, you've used right, you know, light therapies for all sorts of healings. People understand light therapy has actually been around like, you know, 5,000 years. So tons of time, there's lots of studies on light. You can just Google a million light studies. But what people forget is if I look at you with night vision goggles on, you have light inside of you. Mm -hmm. So what this patch is doing, it's like it's got nanocrystals hermetically sealed that create a little lattice structure that reflects your own light back into you at a very specific wavelength that elevates your own copper peptide and your own GHKCU, which causes your increase in stem cells. There is nothing going in the body. In fact, as proof of that, there were over 300 Olympic athletes that were wearing our LifeWave patches in the 2008 Olympics. Do you think they'd be wearing them or get away with it if there was anything going in the skin? No, no. And they did a big study because the very first time that our Stanford uh, swim team, that most of which were Olympic swimmers, mm -hmm. ended up uh, wearing the, the first patch that came out, which is the Energy Enhancer. And the company's been around 20 years. So this patch came out almost 20 years ago. That patch. Whoa, um, whoa, wait a minute. Okay. I just, uh, I, I have to interrupt you because yes. 20 years ago, yes. this technology has been out yes. there and yes. I never heard of it. And like I said, I really, you know, do a lot of research on our alternative health yes. and healing. And it's not something that I heard about. I heard about the stem cells and my husband did have the it's stem cell injections into both knees using his own blood and his own stem cells and you know eight eight thousand dollars and it yeah well the stem cell way. patch has only been around four years but okay. the technology of the photobiomodulation patch the energy enhancers came first that was around 20 years ago so wow yes yes I mean, that's why 300 were wearing it in the 2008 Olympics. And you have people like Ivory Sully recently in September. Uh, he was the five-time NFL Outstanding Special Team Player of the Year. He's a huge proponent of the patches. He's like, Tom Brady's wearing these patches. I mean, everybody knows how much Tom Brady. And that's because 24 hours of wearing the stem cell activation patch, which I should call a GHKCU elevation patch that then activates your stem cells. 24 hours, it resets 3,000 to 4,000 genes to a younger and healthier state mm -hmm. within 24 hours. And what are those? Which genes are those? Well, we know some of them are cancer genes. I'm hoping a lot of them are Alzheimer's genes. Mm -hmm. um, they could be any kind of gene, right? They could be, but they're resetting it. You, we used to think genes were expressed one way or another, but we now know that our environments and other things play a part in that. And we know that we can change the expression of our genes with what we're eating and how we're exercising and even what we're thinking. So 
This is able to do that within 24 hours, 3,000 to 4,000 genes. And when we talk about the this X39, when you talked about it being affordable, so my IV was $10,000 and I saw no difference. My um, husband too. The one month of these patches is $99. It's 150 retail, but $99 wholesale. So less than a cup of coffee a day, you can activate your GHKCU and then elevate and activate those dormant stem cells. Why would any, and there's a money back guarantee. Like, you know, why would anybody not try that? And when you look at the, there are over 90 clinical studies, you can see we had to prove in the patent that it does that, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a patents available. You can see pictures of people, but you can actually look at the 90 clinical studies and see what each of the patches are doing. One of them, which is so phenomenal is the um, this brain study that was done in 2019. It's a SciTech study by Chevalier. And in this particular uh, study, they increased, they showed the following. Well, let me just describe it. There were EEGs done. So the first EEG is done and then they do another one three weeks later and then they mm -hmm. do another one six weeks later. Mm -hmm. And they're only wearing X39, 12 hours on then 12 hours off the way you're supposed to wear it. Well, and the, there are pictures of EEGs that show red circles of, and that red is inflammation and it's PTSD and it's hypercoherence, meaning poor communication between the left and, and uh, right hemisphere. You know all this, I'm talking your language with the brain stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it was showing um, all sorts of issues uh, around cognition, any kind of ADHD, it's an ADHD brain, right? It's just a brain on fire, not doing well. Mm -hmm. In three weeks time, they did the EEG again, and you could see the color maps change. There's greens and there's blues, and they all come in and they're beautiful. And there are people are reporting already, I'm calmer, I'm, I'm seem to remember better, I'm less anxious. And then in six weeks, you see a totally different map and very balanced. And, and what they found, the actual study findings are, yes, it increased GHKCU. It supported cell and nerve regeneration. I mean, let's just that sink in. It supported cell and nerve regeneration. That makes me want to scream from the rooftops because of my husband's Alzheimer's. Woo! And then it balanced the brain. Um, it improved coherence. It improved the nervous system. It lowered anxiety. It decreased brain inflammation. It improved memory, focus, cognitive brain function, and task processing, ease and speed. That's the study findings. So it's just really, and I got to, I got to see that in my husband and I mm -hmm. got to experience that myself. So, I mean, it's not just like a study for me. It's, it's, it's what happened in our family week right. one, right? I mean, and it keeps getting better and better and doing more and more. And in, in a, in a, in another, like in another study that was done on the heart, well, I shouldn't say heart, it was the, on the vascular system. Mm -hmm. They found that in six weeks, participants saw improvements in their vascular system. And to the point where the cardiovascular system in six weeks was, was functioning as if it were eight weeks younger. So I think it's the combination of, I think it's that aspect for me that's keeping me from passing out. Like, I think it's mm -hmm. just gone in and repaired my vascular system so mm -hmm. that I, I, I don't, you know, if you ask anybody, they say there's no cure for POTS, there's nothing you can do, you can do these exercises, you can try to manage your symptoms for life. Okay, mm -hmm. well, guess what? I don't have any symptoms anymore at all. Mm -hmm. So whatever this is doing has gone to the root of the issue. I had POTS since 2005. I was when I was officially diagnosed, you know, and within eight, I don't even know, I haven't had any fainting spells since I started wearing the patches. So I don't know how much wonderfulness is going on inside of my body, but I can just tell you that is amazing. And I, mm -hmm. you know, I, the, the guy that wrote this book, this Dr. John Harmon, mm -hmm. he had a right branch bundle blockage, his right branch bundle blockage. You know, there's no cure for that. There's no medicine for that. There's nothing you can do for a right branch bundle blockage. And it's going to take your life and you're going to, you're going to die earlier. They tested him. 12 or 14 months after wearing the X39 and Eon patches, um, the Eon patches and anti-inflammation patch. That's a really great dynamic duo couple because inflammation, it, it sort of eats up stem cells. So mm -hmm. you can activate them and make them go, but if they're getting eaten up by all the inflammation in our body, then it's not really helpful. That may have been what happened for me in Mexico. Maybe the stem cells would have done better, except I wasn't getting rid of the inflammation um, mm -hmm. at, at a fast enough rate for them to do, they were just dying off. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, he found when he rescanned after 14 months on this X39 and Eon patches, the right branch bundle blockage was gone, gone. And three cardiologists said, that's a miracle. That's not possible. That's just amazing. 
Incredible. Okay. Now let's talk about how, you know, the, the, I don't want to say protocol because that's to me a dirty word. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. (laughs) um, But um, so, okay. The it's 12 hours on 12 hours off. Do you wear it every day when you put the patch on? Do you have to put it in the same place or rotate it in different places on your body? How do you know when the patch is done all its work. I mean, what's the energy that's coming, like you said, the crystals Mm -hmm. out of, you know, the patch into your body, through your skin and and nothing is going into your skin. The crystals are not going into your skin. There's it's hermetically sealed. It's just light, just light going into your skin. The crystals do, however, break down from the heat inside the hermetical seal. So they break down over time. Um, Some patches, I think X39, I would tell you probably has an 18 hour lifespan. Um, but you only wear it 12 hours, not because it doesn't have a little life left in it, but because we don't want attenuation in your body. We don't want your body to get used to that signal and no longer respond. Got so it. you want to wear it 12 hours on and then 12 hours off. And like, if I only gave you one patch, Cheryl, and I said, here, take this patch and run. It's the only one you're ever going to get. I would tell you to wear it 24 hours, um, because, you know, get every little bit of life out of it. You're not going to be trying to get another one. Um, th- what we do is we, we, people that have loved ones that aren't, you know, we'll take it off after 12 hours and we patch our loved one. We patch our pets. Not allowed to say that per the FDA, but there's no one of us that do- doesn't do that. If you have a pet, we put it on our pet because it's amazing for pets. It's here, all sorts of things from pain to, we, we actually have a whole line of product for animals um, that it's the equivalent of the, that pain patch, that ice wave. And there's a video on the horses that's called horses don't lie. And it Aww. shows them responding to um, this immediately. You know, like there's no placebo effect for a horse. Like there's a right. lot of people who say these are placebo. Okay. Okay. Let's just say they are, even though these were double blind placebo controlled studies, mm-hmm. let's just say they are, the horses don't have a placebo effect. So what's going on here. But anyway, um, so the, the approach that you take and where you wear them, the studies have shown that they, they put, we typically are following acupressure, acupuncture points, energy oh. meridian. Um, so the studies have it done behind the back of the neck or below the belly button. So if, if you were to look at my neck right now, I have I have mine behind the back of my neck, back here on the little bone. Uh-huh, That's where I see. I'm wearing it today. Um, and then, or below my belly button. And, um, but if I had an injury, uh, like when my foot was broken and my, I had all of them on my foot, like mm-hmm. you can put them anywhere and they will work. Um, if you have pain, the X39 and that anti-inflammation patch together can offer some pain relief on top of that ice wave patch I was telling you about. Um, and if, you know, there are people that are doing bone on bone, um, knees, they did a study where they found that the, um, the, uh, addition of glutathione patch. And I, I want to talk about glutathione in a bit, a bit because it's so powerful, but the anti-inflammation patch, the glutathione patch and the X39 was growing so much cartilage that they didn't have to have a knee replacement or, or therapy. So really amazing. So do you have to move them around? No, you can move them the same place every single, you know, they can, every single day. Um, I have a particular approach that I do for my husband. That's specifically good for the brain. Mm-hmm. Um, the, you know, kind of right along the spinal canal and other people are, uh, you know, you just do where you want to. I am so excited. You said that about the cartilage, because I have always had a theory that it is possible to regrow cartilage. And everybody looked at me like Uh, I was out of my mind. Absolutely. Everybody says that's not possible. Doctors will say that's not possible. And, and it is possible. And, you know, it's, it's really, um, you know, I think we, we don't, you know, we, and I kind of talked about this. When you look at regular doctors, they are trained in institutions that are built and the curriculum is created by pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. So what they learn is drugs and surgery, Mm -hmm. and they haven't they haven't been, they, they don't know all the natural approaches and the alternatives and food or exercise. They don't, they don't even learn wellness. They learn mm-hmm. disease, right? And mm-hmm. symptom reconciliation, I think. It's not even really how to get to the root cause of what's going on for somebody. I mean, our bodies made cartilage to begin with. Why couldn't stem cells make cartilage again? Mm-hmm. Why not, right? I mean, mm-hmm. is there anything a stem cell can't go in and heal? We can't actually tell our stem cells where to go. So one of the things I would like to have happen is 
to have these go right to my husband's brain. But, but the stem cells go where they want to go, where they think they're most needed. So they might say to me, well, Darlene, you know, Jim was 30 years a Navy captain, naval, naval aviator, and we need to start with his liver. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, right? Um, so, you know, it, it, it's really kind of amazing. And I, but so that's why there are supportive patches that are, you know, the X39 does every does everything except like ice wave, the pain management. X39 is going to do all of it. So there are people that just wear X39 and, mm-hmm. and you just need to be more patient and have willing to wait a little longer. I have zero patience right now for my husband. I, I'm like every single day really counts right now mm-hmm. uh, for my husband. And so we, we did all the patches that support the brain. And, the, and there are some amazing patches there. They each do with something different. They elevate a different peptide. So mm-hmm. one elevates um, like Alavita elevates the epithalamum peptide and carnosine elevates the carnosine in the body glutathione, which I have to talk about because t- do you know a lot about glutathione, Cheryl? I really don't. Oh, well, this is going to be so good for you because glutathione, you were talking about blue zones recently with one of your guests and mm-hmm. The people that live in the blue zones that live the longest have the highest levels of glutathione. And that's because it's your body's master antioxidant. It's an immune booster. And there are entire books written about glutathione. It's it's very unknown actually, but I was actually getting glutathione through IV because of my three autoimmune disorders in the middle of a pandemic. I was doing everything I could to try to keep away from having any of the big viruses going around. So, uh, but I found out that the glutathione IV, which is pricey by the way, uh, it was raising my glutathione levels 27% for seven minutes. This glutathione patch that I now have that I wear every day, it raises my glutathione levels 300% and it keeps it there for 24 hours. And what glutathione does is it protects your DNA from damage. It causes repair to damaged cells. It protects and rejuvenates stem cells. It increases your length of life. Um, it actually reduces inflammation. This is huge for increasing collagen, huge for increasing and regenerating collagen. Mm-hmm. And it, it it's really good for acne. It improves organ function. Oh, for anybody that has Parkinson's, it protects the myelin sheath. That is nice. They've actually seen reversal of symptoms. I have a friend who has had Parkinson's and has tremors since she's five years old. She was wearing the patches and in three weeks, her tremors virtually stopped. Okay, and, so oh, what about- last thing, Are... The last thing I want to tell you about glutathione is the three of these together, X39, Eon, and glutathione will knock out spike proteins. Everybody okay. that's had the vaccination has spike proteins. Anybody that's had COVID has spike proteins. Even people that have been around people that have been vaccinated um, have spike proteins and spike proteins are damaging to your lungs and your heart and your gut and all sorts of things, your brain. So you really do want to get rid of your, your spike proteins. So I got to go back to that in the, the IV you yes. said that you were getting, and it lasted for the effects last seven minutes, seven, seven minutes. minutes. And how long did it take to have the infusion? Oh, it was usually 30 minutes to an hour. Oh my goodness. You know, I would basically be getting a big, uh, big dose of mega vitamins. And then I would be, um, and then I would, they would end, they would end with the glutathione push. So it would be kind of at the end. Wow. And I'm guessing that that was a little bit pricey. It was pricey. Mm-hmm. Okay. So another thing I wanted to mention the blue zone, that was Al Lyman. That was the episode. Oh, that yes. Played. He's the one who, um, his whole thing, he decided at the age of 25 that he was going to die healthy. Yes. He yes. Died. So that's the guy. That. I, that's, that's the guy I was listening to. Yes. Yeah. And he actually, he sent me his book, which I thought was very nice. He says, Oh, would you like a copy of my it's book? I says, oh, book. That yeah. would be very nice. So, was- you know, he says, okay, I send him my address and it's about a week later. I thought, nah, he probably forgot about it. And that's fine. I went to the, you know, mailbox and there was something there and I pull out this box and it was just, I was like, what did I order? Cause this thing is huge. And it was so heavy. It was his book. There is so much science in there and so much, um, you know, biochemistry in there as well as, you know, practical tips and stuff. But it's just an amazing book. I think I'm only on page 100 because there's 500 pages, but 
I'm going to read the whole I, thing. I'm interested to see if he talks about glutathione in there because I know he was talking about the blue zones and if he's and, and I bet he knows about glutathione. Um, I yeah. can guarantee he does. Yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. I'm going to look this afternoon when yes. I'll pick it up and look for that. I'm sure it's in there. And the other thing that I find so compelling, and you said this way at the beginning of the episode, I wrote it down. So it's not, not like my brain is that good, but it's, <laughs> um, what a memory. Um, but according to the FDA, our stem cells are a drug? Yes. Okay, so if my stem cells are a drug do they still belong to me or do they belong to you know no, one of they, the big pharmaceutical they, companies they, they, i hope they belong to you right they i think they're just claiming the they don't want anybody using the words stem cells and we're not alone we're not the only company that's having this issue there are other companies that do things that help stem cells and that they can't use the word stem cell anymore either um it's you really know, there, funny. There's a bit, there's a bit of an argument going on about it. Like, oh, you sure. know, our own stem cells ought to be our own. And we have studies and patents that prove that our product activates and elevates the stem cells. But I just like to play it a little bit safer and say they elevate and activate the GHKCU. Mm -hmm. and we know from 50 mm -hmm. years of studying and 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 all sorts of documented, clinically proven um studies that it elevates and activates yeah. stem cells. Well, you're years wise years. to be prudent. I think that's a really good. Well, I want us to be able to stay on, uh, you know, on social media so other people can hear us because to, your, you know, to, to the point that we made earlier, I'm a very private person. It is not easy for me to come on and talk about all of these very personal things, including my husband's Alzheimer's, but I'm mad just like you had that reaction of what it has been around this technology of photobiomodulation has been around 20 years and I'm just hearing about it. I was really salty when I found out Olympians, Olympians were wearing it and I didn't know about it and really saltier when I found out that this, this X39 stem cell activation patch has been around for years. Well, why didn't I find it when I was researching? Just like, why didn't you find it when you were researching? Right. Because right. it's good it's it, you know you can't even say vitamin c raises your um, immune system and keeps you from getting viruses these days without getting that taken down from you know so we have to we have to find these kinds of resources mm -hmm. where we can and so that's made me very vocal and very passionate because i know we would be in a better place if we would have started this two or three years ago mm -hmm. i know it we would did you get any blowback? I'm just curious. I mean, have you gotten any blowback? Um, you know, when you do post things, um, ha have you? No, I, I haven't, uh, actually. I've had a lot of people. In fact, it's interesting that there are more people that have sort of heard about it. Oh, my doctor, you know, I actually have two doctors that are doing this too. Like, but they have to be very careful about like, they are not going to bring it up and push it because they have a license to protect, right? This right. is an alternative thing and they have to be very careful, but they right. use it and they like it. Um, you know, this is direct sales and they're like, oh, I can't, I can't do that, but you don't have to do it that way. Like there is um, a preferred customer approach as well. So there are, I, I've actually at one point heard 60% of our, of our company is practitioners. So there's a ton of nurses and doctors and, and open-minded, you know, practitioners. There's an anesthesiologist, Cheryl, who has, um, he was on a medical panel that I was listening to. They were all doctors, cardiologists, neurologists, and this is an anesthesiologist. And he said, he said, this is the most significant medical breakthrough in my lifetime. Wow. Yeah. 40 wow. year fusion. Okay, so I know the listeners are like chomping at the bit right now going, how do I get this patch? Yeah, so easy, right? No prescription, no contraindications. You can continue to take your medicines just the way you are. You you can be in chemotherapy and take these. We, we recommend you wait 72 hours after just because everything gets just killed by chemotherapy anyway. Super supportive for people that are going through that though. The only person that has to be careful would be someone who's had an organ transplant and has an organ that is not their own in their body because it's gonna boost your immune system. It's gonna boost your immune system so high that you just wanna be very careful that you're at least working with a doctor to keep it from attacking your alien organ, right? Okay. Um, but it's it's available on the website. Um, and we talked about the X39 being $99, but the Eon's $49. Like when you buy them in packages of three, you can get them at these amazing deals. And so there's an entry kit of $299 and you can, you could literally get a package of X39, 
ice wave, glutathione, eon, and, you know, let's see, one more, one more, we could do energy enhancers. We haven't talked about energy enhancers, love energy enhancers. So anybody, anybody who's living on caffeine and just mm-hmm. needs that, this is energy. This was the first patch, the one that all the Olympians were wearing mm-hmm. that increases energy and reduces fatigue and muscle soreness by increasing mm-hmm. beta oxidation. So it's working at the mitochondrial level. And mm-hmm. it offers anti-aging benefits and other things, especially good for um, breathing and tonifying organs and and mm-hmm. phlegm. And it also burns an extra 300 to 600 calories a day. Mm-hmm. Um, and it helps other patches work more effectively a day. But for anybody living off of caffeine, this doesn't give you a espresso hit, like, like charging right. through your veins. It's just this consistent energizer bunny all day long kind of energy. So you no longer need that afternoon caffeine or chocolate or sugar or whatever it is that you have that little dip and and then you're like, uh, um, and, and I will tell you, they are magical. And I love the energy enhancers. In the first week I was in the kitchen cooking all this stuff. Like I don't cook, like I've hated cooking. I've been vocal about, Hey, I wish I loved cooking. I don't. Um, but I was in there cooking all this stuff and I'm in there going, I don't want to hate cooking. Cooking isn't so bad, you know? And I'm thinking, who am I? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> who am I, I? I realized, I just think I never had the energy. I yeah. energy, it takes energy to get the ingredients and pull them all together and cook something up. And, and we're having to come up with very healthy things. And I right. was just, but I was in there. I think I cooked more in the first week on the patches than I cooked all year. I'm not oh, kidding. Wow. I was just like a woman on fire. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. So I know the answer to this, but I have to ask it anyway. So when you get the patches, do they come with instructions like, you know, um, yes. how yes. long to wear yes. them or they do. Um, but I actually, anybody that, so anybody that orders from me, I, I, I immediately am reaching out and saying, okay, you need to drink water. You need to drink half of your body weight in ounces in water every day. Um, it's really helpful if you get electric, uh, um, electrolytes, uh, it helps it out. A lot of people are deficient in copper. It might be helpful if you look at your copper levels and see, um, since 85 to 90% of people are deficient to make that copper peptide. It's really helpful if you've got copper floating around. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say, these are your day patches. There are some night patches. This is where you would wear them. Here's some more information. And I, and I actually offer them to come into a call where I have a doctor friend that is on the call with, with me and we can answer questions, you know, you know, what about this or what about that? We actually do find, especially if people take, um, you know, are looking at their blood work, they'll find that their blood pressure is dropping, their cholesterol is dropping. Um, you know, she no longer has to be on her thyroid medicine at all. So people, you know, it's not that you would stop your medicines, although there are people that have been on narcotics, very severe pain meds for a long time that no longer need that. Um, but we want you to continue to do what you're doing, work with your doctor. Um, I, I do need to sort of say, I should have probably said it earlier, but LifeWay products are not intended to cure, treat, diagnose, or prevent disease. We're a wellness product. Even if they do those things, like even if they do, they're not intended to do that. They're intended to help you optimize your body. Your body does the work. They help elevate your, um, your GHKCU and the other peptides in your body for your body to heal itself, really. So- mm-hmm. Yeah, the, I would send an email out to anybody that um, that reach you know you can reach me on my website. But you even if you order, I see that you've ordered, it and I send out okay. I see that you've ordered these products. Here's some information about that, and please reach out to me. I want to know how you're doing. I want to be able to be helpful um, because I love I love hearing the stories. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, someone with acid reflux who's been on it she, literally from the moment she started wearing it within an hour, she never had acid reflux again, and she had been suffering for years. And so, you know, the, those kinds of stories just, they make my day. I, mm-hmm. I, it's like intrinsically rewarding, like that returning where your weekend thing was. Right? Yes. <laughs> really, really. Okay. So how can people find you? I mean, would oh, just yeah, give the, us the link the to your website. website. It's yeah, it's, I am reverse aging. So I A M R E V E R S E A G I N G.com. I am reverse aging.com. And uh, you will see all the studies, all the 90 clinical studies. You can dive into the patents. You can see testimonials. You can see uh, David, the inventor, talking to practitioners in a video. There's lots of information, more information than you can get through in a day. There's pictures that are really fun to watch or to look at. And um, and then that's also how you reach out to me by email and just say, hey, I'd, I'd like to talk with you about this. I'm happy to just talk with someone about what would be best for them because there are 
there are certain things that you would do. So if you were trying to, for example, combat neurological disease, like uh, neurological, any of the, to support the neurological sim systems, for example, there are patches specific for that, that are X39, X49, Eon, carnosine, glutathione, Elevita, you know, those, those kinds of questions I can help with. Okay. So, and that was one question that I had too, uh, when you were talking about Parkinson's, what about MS? Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything, anything. Mm -hmm. um, and, and there are, I can actually send testimonials too, for people. I have a, a sort of a collection of testimonials from people that have very specific issues and whether that's, you know, cancer, you can actually look on the website and see there's a picture of Nikki who had lung cancer and was told she had four to six months to live. Unbelievable. And, and, and her, um, her PET scan shows all of the, all of the cancer. It's like circled on the, on the screen and you see the skeleton. And then Jeez. they showed her five months later and it's clear they're gone. Wow. They're just gone. And my, my friend that introduced me to these patches, her cousin, uh, as it was a vet, uh, Agent Orange, that mm -hmm. Agent Orange leukemia, and like end stage leukemia in bed, getting prepared to die, selling off the cows, round the clock pain meds, basically was being told, we're going to give you a drug, it's going to kill you, but it will improve the quality of your life until you die. That's where he was, wheelchair bound, unable to walk. And in three days of these patches, he's out of bed, bouncing around, move, you know, doing all these errands. And in two weeks he was traveling, no wheelchair, no walker, donated those. His white cell count dropped. He is living a fabulous quality life right now. Feels better than he has in decades. He is, he's bought back his cows. He's like, <laughs> he's like back to living life again. It's amazing. The cows come home. I like the cows that. come home. <laughs> what, what's not to love about that? You know, but, every time you say the word leukemia, both of my parents passed away uh, from leukemia. Oh, and so it, oh yeah, it was pretty awful. But I, we kind of joke about it. You know, I have four sisters and, you know, we joke a lot about a lot of things because that's how you get through stuff. Okay. But it was almost like this, um, 2010 was this year of end stage leukemia poker. You know, where well, I'll see you a reaction and I'll oh, raise you an right. infection, oh, I'll, you know, an uh, ER visit and then an, uh, an admission. I mean, it, it was just terrible. But, um, you know, that's always in the back of my mind because there was one um, common denominator. My dad had two types of leukemia. My mom had one, the MDS. And that was the MDS was the one that was much more um, severe than the CLLs, rather common. And they said, you know, my mom kept saying she was a very smart woman. And she kept saying after she was diagnosed, it was like, whoa, where's this coming from? So she kept saying to the doctors, this has got to be environmental. This has got to be environmental. And they were like poo-pooing her and said, no, no, no. And so all the oncologists and the hematologists were saying the same thing. The only physicians that found it very compelling was their dentist, their eye doctor, and their dermatologist that said, there's got to be a component here. But I guess none of the other physicians wanted to fess up to that because then where would that lead? Yeah. But uh, so, yeah, I think about that a lot because I know it had to have been environmental. And uh, I think it was the benzene, I think, is a common byproduct yeah. of, you know, a lot of things and especially in the steel industry, you know, so I don't know. It's just yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, there are people that have nothing wrong with them but they just want to prevent, they want, they want all those stem cells activated and they want to prevent disease. Cause it's, you know, I've got someone who's got Alzheimer's in their family and she's like, I'm all over this. I just want to prevent Alzheimer's. Yeah. Um, there are other people who, who, who do have issues and are, you know, certainly experiencing that, but to be able to order something from a website like this, it's, it's just can come to your door, wherever you are. We're in over 70 countries. We're wow. in over 70 countries. Can you even imagine? Um, and, and you know that we have distribution centers and we're at, you know, they actually are very careful to make sure that the distribution centers are like high grade medical quality. Mm -hmm. um, but we have one in Ireland and we we're, we distribute to South Africa. I mean, we, wow. we have, it's amazing where all we are. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of people who have family in other places and they can, we can get them to them. Mm -hmm. The other one, I do want to bring up your Facebook page again, because there were some very compelling photographs there. Sure. Darlene Bennett Green is my Facebook name, Darlene, B-E-N-N-E-T-T-G-R-E-E-N-E. -E -E -E. Um, you can find me there. And I, I typically have post, I post the podcast that I've done and I do a lot of posts around 
the um, the patches. Um, so I I would love to have anybody. If you reach out to me, say something about patches in in your message to me, and then I'll accept you as a friend. I don't. There's a lot of weirdos. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I really don't accept Facebook friends unless someone said, hey, I'm interested in the patches or I'm interested in, you know, I, I talked to so-and-so or whatever. I saw this and then I'm like, okay, all right, you're, you're legit. But these others, they're just- But um, even if you're not friends, you can actually see the photos. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot. Yeah, I have a public viewing of all of that stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I have actually more private because I'm just a little, there's sometimes I'm on the edge of compliance and I just maybe put some things in just for friends only. So happy to be a friend, but it just needs Mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. Well, Darlene, I am so excited about this technology and uh, it's just such an honor to talk to you. And uh, wow, this has been amazing. I, I'm honored to be on your podcast. You are, I love the name. I love that you're a ninja. I, this, this is so good for my soul. Like I just love women power. Um, I'm nothing against men. I love men. Obviously I've been working around men my whole life, but I love, I love powerful women and women who are in areas of and successful in areas that are very atypical. And so your story just resonates with me. I just love what you do. I love your podcast. I love your guests and all that you are doing for the world. So I love love, love you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate your kind words. There's sometimes when it's just like, you feel like you're, you know, you're functioning in a vacuum. It's like, is there anybody out there? So it's very nice to hear that. Do you have any final, like one last pearl of wisdom for the listeners Uh, before we sign off? Just, you know, take charge of your own health. Don't listen to your Western medicine doctors. Uh, don't accept the diagnosis. They don't really know what, I don't think they really know what chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia or even POTS. I don't think people know. And don't own that disease. Don't accept it. You can You can actually, I think there's nothing that is impossible. And so I, I just, I think of myself as a light warrior carrying a message of hope. And I want all of you to just have hope and understand. And to, and to one other thing, for all of you care providers out there, God bless you all. <laughs> As one to another, not easy, not easy at all. And um, we're in this together. And I'm in a couple of Facebook pages with, with other supporting groups of care providers. And that's really been helpful for me just from a humor perspective and just a support perspective. But it is it is not an easy thing. And so give yourself a lot of grace around that and, and, and praise. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Well, thanks again, Darlene. This has been amazing. Just so amazing. Thanks, Cheryl. It was such fun. And everybody, thank you so much for listening. Wow. Isn't this some amazing information giving us hope? Um, So do go to, pardon me, Darlene's website, um, check out her Facebook postings. Um, If you're a creep, please don't try and friend her uh, because she won't (laughs) appreciate that. Neither would I. And uh, do check it out. I mean, I'm so excited about this. I I just can't wait to try it myself and see if it can boost my energy because I run around like a crazy person all day and then I crash. And remember that nothing is impossible, especially when it comes to your health and your healing. And that is the way of the Femininja.